this is Fee Diamond in the Rough and I have completed another diamond painting. This is the Lion family from Diamond Painting 911. I will put the unboxing up here so you can see the unboxing of it. Now this guy was um okay, so what what we'll put I do I didn't actually put the price down on this one. Mind, I don't normally anyway because I buy in Aussie dollars. Okay, so Diamond Painting 911. They are the, that is the same company that produced the DMC Colour Chart book. Okay, although to get the DMC Colour Chart book, that was all done by Amazon. And this guy is actually from their website, which I pull, will put the website down below. Uh, in the unboxing I had it was so this was a clear cover poured glue and this had this one proved the fact that well let's put it this way we all say clear covers there's never any issues with this one actually proved that that is not a hundred percent correct um, so normally yeah, you, know, you look at something before you unroll it and it's like oh clear cover good there we go no issues with the canvas no issues at all if you look at the unboxing this section of the canvas was um creased up and i actually had to use the hair dryer on it to sort it out and it came good not a hundred percent good but it came good a lot it came a pretty good now in saying that I did contact the company to let them know about it. I gave them the link to the YouTube video and I did not get a response. So customer service, I don't think there was any there. Basically I ordered it, I received it. When I unboxed it I had an issue, I contacted them and there was no response. Not by me, I am still doing a little bit of straightening up on these uh, using the uh, fixing tool. Okay, so I'll move this around a little bit so you can see the animals in the background you have come up really clear as well. Butterfly, although I think that's just part of the log. But your antelopes, I think that's the lion family in the background. Close up, that is very, that is pixelated, but on the camera it shows up really well and you got the family um, the giraffe the antelope another butterfly and to really show the pixelation have a, see how when working on it this is what we see is like that's like geez that doesn't look right but I tell you what it is so right okay so that's it for the picture back of the canvas now that I have finished it um, I don't know, you can still see that there is some of that creasing in the centre uh, okay so just by holding it like that you can see here there is that crease in there and there was another one there but with the diamonds on it all good um, I can see that line a little bit but once it's on a frame up and framed it won't show radio now this is the first time I've done a diamond painting and not had to kit up um, or put into the storage containers I decided that I was going to just do it with in, leave it in the bags because this is the first time I've received them in the bags so these guys had symbol side things were fantastic with a couple of exceptions and I will pop the pictures in here so you can have a look the pictures were um, so the ones that I had issues with there was E and F so if we actually have a look here yes there is a colour on there we go 
these boxes actually did have colour on them. However, they actually didn't have colour. The only colour that they showed, hang on, I'll just try and block that out. The only colour that they showed, come on, be nice to me. The only colour was around the box, not on the box. It's not going to focus. It's too much sparkle on the left. Um, but the colours that I had issues with were E and F. I struggled with, which is two different greens, which was up here. The other was the two, the Z and the set, two, the Z and the seven. They were horrible to work with as well. Um, because they were yet again together and in browns. Drills though were very very plentiful. I didn't have any thought I was going to run out. I hope you like my way of doing these ones. Um, so I didn't have any issues with any running out which was great. Quality wise I think the only one that I had problems with was the 310 and let's see if I can pour it out and you can actually where's my beef tray okay and I think the 310 quality was um, not too bad i had some what i call top hatters with knobbly bits but even like my leftovers they're pretty good um yeah normally your three tens are the ones where you get the horrible cup quality there's a couple of like little bits here but if i threw anything out it was because it had the um yeah it was a top hat which is really funny Knobbly bits on the side, um, but I had no no worry about um, quantity at all, which was great. Um, what else can I say? Hang on, I just need to get them out of there. So yeah, yet again, no no issue, no worries. Product, I um. That's what happens when you pour drills into another container. <laughs> There's actually two colours in there. Um, but to resolve that, I actually put what the other colour was. Because they were two different colours, they were easy to see. Um, so, yeah. That's how we went there. Um, would I recommend them? Believe it or not, yes. Um, I will put their link down below, but yes, I definitely would recommend them. Um, it was a good one to work on. Um, this this is one that actually restores my faith in squares. I've had some squares where companies are ranked highly by others, and I had issues with squares, which is why... I, um, I've been ordering rounds because I just didn't want to do with squares although this one is good and I would recommend these guys with their square diamond paintings. So adorable little hue looking up, up. So yeah, um, yes I would recommend these guys purely um, because the ordering was simple. No, cust no customer service, but the ordering was simple. Um, and the quality of the squares is worth it. And rolling pin. Let's see. Apart from the squeaky wheel. Which Bo doesn't like. There is no, absolutely no cracking. Nothing popping. This is what you want to hear when you put a roller over. <laughs> Although Bo doesn't want to hear it. Yes, it was me, buddy. It's this thing. 
He is no longer going outside. Um, so yeah, no popping. There was a little bit of gapping, but on the light colours here, which you can't see. In reality, you can't really see it. Um, <clears throat> however, when I write, when I go over the fixing with a fixing tool, which is a straightening tool, um, most of that gapping goes away. Okay, so that's it. Love it, love it, love it. Very happy with it. This is um, for my son and his wife's nursery when they actually have their um. When they start having their uh, having their kids, um, they've got a jungle theme in their nursery, so that's what this this dude is for. He's a beautiful beautiful one for a kid nursery. If you don't want to go babyish, which they don't want to do babyish, so yeah, um, double thumbs up on this one. The only issue was the canvas, which hair dryer sorted out, and the uh, lack of customer service, but. Quality was there. Quality was there. Canvas is good. Um, it was a 45 by 80 centimeter. Um, size wise, well, it was 79.7 and 44.9. So it was really close on. So which is yet, yet again another thing. And yeah, so I will put the link down below to this. Um, this one, they actually have quite a lot of diamond paintings on there. So, yeah, I would actually recommend these guys. So, thank you for watching. And um, I can now order another diamond painting. Woohoo! Um, because I don't have any diamond paintings in my stash that doesn't have drills on it. Um, because I don't have a mountain of diamond paintings, I've actually been able to avoid that little addiction. Of buying <coughs> just <laughs> okay thank you for watching please um, if you like this give it a thumbs up put your comments down um, um, they're always good to receive and um, hit the bell for any more notifications and for those that are watching this so today is the 22nd of July for those that are watching this on uh, before then the DP on next weekend <clears throat> I'm on at 7 a.m. I think the US time the main time in the US uh, which is actually 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. in Perth so yeah hopefully you can join me and um, I'll be have to find another diamond painting to work on for that DP of them. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and bye for now.